New at 11 now, a vote over jobs led to a racially charged debate started by D.C. Councilman Marion Barry. Now, the councilman was behind a bill that would help men and women who have been released from prison attain new jobs. But when this measure failed, the fireworks began. Autria Godfrey live outside the Wilson building now to pick up the story from there. Autria, what happened? Well, Allison and Leon, this all unfolded, as you said, during a vote today on a couple of different bills that would make it easier for those with criminal backgrounds to get employment housing, etc. Now, Chairman Phil Mendelson's bill is the one that actually ended up being passed, but it was the way that the city council voted on Marion Barry's bill that left him fuming. Mr. Chairman, how do you explain the fact that Mr. Graham is the only white member of the council supporting this bill? Just seconds after a vote on a bill to help those with criminal records easily gain employment and housing, the discussion in the city council chambers like turned testy, with Marion Barry all but calling half his colleagues racist. If you don't tell me it's long racial lines, then you must not be able to count, which you can. That's, That's BS. As Barry's bill was voted down, tensions rose as the Ward 8 councilman promised to, quote, continue on the war path against anyone that opposes this bill. Tonight, residents in his own ward are split over the outburst. When people don't think about what's going on and you have that divide, and it, if you look at the divide itself, white, black, okay, mm -hmm. then it has that tone. I don't want to call it racist. Um, everybody has a different view on, on it. Um, it's very likely majority of people that are in the system are African American, um, which is why he took it to heart. And D.C. resident Shelley Montgomery, whose job it is to help incarcerated women reintegrate into the workforce, agrees, but that race really shouldn't be a part of the discussion. I think that it is unfortunate that we don't have more, um, you know, cooperation among all the people in D.C. to have these opportunities for people because it, it's not a race issue, it's a people issue. Now, the bill that was passed today does not give these with criminal backgrounds the same legal protections as minorities. Instead, it creates a certificate of good standing program for these different job seekers. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Autria Godfrey, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Autria.